morning, good morning. I'm popping in really early this morning. Well, this isn't really early, it's 9.30. I wanted to come in really early, but life was life and that just did not happen. So we are going to get right into it. Um, for those of y'all who don't know me, my name is Jessica Fields. I'm a licensed esthetician in the state of Texas. I'm the founder and owner of the J. Fields Co. brand. So we make luxury skincare products and provide spa services here in Houston, Texas. I also do some um, online spa services like consultations. Uh, but either way, let's get into it. I want to talk to y'all today about the importance of a morning routine. Um, and typically when a person like me, all into skincare comes in and I'm talking about a routine, you automatically think skincare routine. Yes, I am going to hit on that, but that's not all I'm going to talk about. A morning skincare routine or routine is crucial because overnight, your skin does accumulate sweat, oil, and impurities as you lay across your pillows. Your pillows uh, build up with dander, dust, pollen, and, uh, well not pollen, but all those dirt and debris and it's pressed up against the face. And sometimes, myself included, I find myself waking up and I have my entire hand pressed against my face. Now, mind you, I wash my hands and I put on a moisturizer before I go to bed. So the moisturizer, the ingredients that are in it, I'm now pressing it into my skin. So in the morning, you need to cleanse the skin. That should be the first thing you do because it helps remove all those substances and prevent from having clogged pores um, and potentially leading to breakouts. So... Cleansing should be your first step. It's going to kind of set the mood for the day, for the skincare routine. And depending on what kind of cleanser you are using, what scents are in it, it actually can wake you up. Can really get those juices, creative juices flowing in the mind, get you prepared for your day. Uh, another thing you should be doing in the morning is applying sunscreen. Now, you may be thinking, oh, I've got some melanin, I've got some, some uh, color in my skin, I don't have to wear it. That unfortunately is untrue. Statistics show us that those with melanin, so black and brown skin, are less likely to use sunscreen. And because of that, they find out that they have skin cancers or concerns a lot later in life than they need to because they weren't properly protecting their skin or they weren't seeing someone that could identify something that's going on in the skin. So I encourage everyone, no matter what shade you are, to be using a sunscreen each and every day, regardless of whether it's cloudy outside. Like I'm in Houston, Texas, and it's raining, so it's cloudy outside. If I'm going outside, I'm still going to apply my sunscreen because those harmful UV rays can still penetrate through the clouds. Um, we're approaching cooler weather, so eventually, depending on where you're located, it's going to snow. The sun, those rays can actually bounce off the snow and cause more damage. So just do yourself a favor and protect your skin every time you're going to go outside. And if you're staying outside all day, be sure to reapply. The next thing I want to kind of point out about sunscreen is not just to protect you against you, uh, harmful rays um, so that you don't get skin cancer, but it prevents premature aging, sunburn, and skin damage. So just save yourself the time, do yourself a favor, and apply your sunscreen in the morning and reapply in the afternoon if you need to. Um, overnight, sometimes the skin can become dehydrated. So we have to add that hydration back into it with a good moisturizer. And doesn't matter what your skin type is, you should be applying your moisturizer. If you're oily skin, you're looking for an oil-free moisturizer. And I have one in the shop, it's called uh, Brilliance oil-free gel moisturizer. It's aloe base. So it gives you the hydration you need, your skin needs, so that it can go on and do the work that it's meant to do without clogging your pores, which leads to further breakouts. If you wear makeup, getting up and doing your skincare routine provides a perfect canvas for your skincare, or excuse me, for your makeup to apply flawlessly. Just taking a few extra minutes to use or do your skincare routine can also be self-care and mindfulness. And that's what I really wanted to get into more so this morning. Um, by doing your self-care and mindfulness, by taking um, a morning skincare ritual, this allows you to have calming and uplifting aspects. For example, being mindful and providing a little bit of self-care. Depending on how many steps in your skincare routine will depend on how much time you have. But I recommend you set the atmosphere create a spa-like atmosphere. 
You can light a candle in the bathroom. You can use some essential oils. Depending on what kind of products you have, what kind of essential oils are in it or fragrance oils are in it, you can then smell those different scents. It might help wake you up. A serene um, atmosphere can help you relax and fully immerse yourself in the experience. Again, this is just giving yourself a little self-care and being mindful about what you're doing. Another way you can uh, up the ante is to focus on the sensory enjoyment. So as you're putting on the product, how does the product feel? Does it feel cooling? Does it feel warming? And there are products that have ingredients that warm up to the touch. Um, as you're exfoliating, how do the beads feel? If it's a physical exfoliant, if it's a chemical exfoliant, do you feel tingling in the skin? Just taking a moment and really thinking about what you're feeling is a bit of self-care. It's mindfulness. It's making you present in the moment. It's allowing you to enjoy this time of taking care of yourself. While you're doing your skincare routine, you can also practice mindful breathing. Um, for example, if you're using a peppermint-based ingredient, as you're, whatever you're cleansing, moisturizing, toning, whatever it is, as you're putting it on your face, take deep breaths. Breathe the product scent in. Allow them to do the work by the manufacturer's instructions. So say it's a product that needs to stay on your, self, on your face excuse me, <clears throat> for 15 minutes. Put it on your face, sit back, close your eyes. Deep breath in and out. During those 15 minutes, think about your day. Think about how you want it to go. And I, when I say think about your day, I'm not talking about think about your to-do list because that's going to take you out of the self-care mindfulness frame. Think about what you expect for your day. I expect today to be a great day. I'm going to be excited. I'm going to conquer the day. This is a great time to start doing affirmations to affirm what you want and expect to happen in your life in that day. If you're a business owner, I expect to make hundred thousand dollars in sales I mean that's a big goal but if that's a realistic goal for you then say that um, if you're just starting out and a hundred thousand dollars is not a realistic goal but you have a product on sale for well, actually let me use my own self as an example we have the spa party coming up tickets are two hundred and seventy five dollars so while I'm doing my routine I can say okay I've got six tickets remaining so I'm expecting those six tickets to be sold today at two hundred and seventy five dollars each so you're having a moment to visualize what you're expecting that is a great time to do that in your um, self-care and mindfulness phrase of a uh, point of doing your skincare routine um, I talked about a few things but the main thing I want to drive home to y'all is self-care and mindfulness is great to implement in your morning routine, whether it be the skincare portion or say, I can't convince you to do skincare today, fine. Create a different type of morning ritual where you get out of the bed and the first thing you do is not grab your cell phone and get on social media or grab your cell phone and check your bank accounts. Instead, why don't you get up and talk to God? Thank you, Father, for waking me up this day. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for waking up my children. Hopefully it's quiet and you have a moment to yourself. You can just really think these thoughts out. Or after you do that, you go to the restroom, you use the restroom, maybe brush your teeth. While you're brushing your teeth, be thinking these things. As you go into the kitchen and make your coffee or your tea or your breakfast, whatever that may be, be thinking of those things. So create some sort of morning routine that allows you to self-care and have some mindfulness. Now, back to the skincare portion because, you know, that's that's my lane. I want to give y'all a few more tips and then I'm going to get out of here before I, um, I'll get out of here after I see if y'all have any questions or comments. So a morning skincare ritual or routine is essential for cleansing, protecting, and nourishing your skin. It helps maintain your skin health. Yes, you have a part to play and I as the esthetician have a part to play in the spa, but you have a part to play at home. By doing your skincare routine in the morning, every single morning, again, you maintain skin health. You are able to help prevent damage. You set a positive tone for your day and it's a perfect opportunity again for that self-care and mindfulness. By incorporating some of the practices that I've shared with y'all this morning you, into your skincare routine, you turn it into a mindful and enjoyable experience that can promote relaxation and mental well-being. It's an opportunity for you to take a break from the busyness of life, focus on the self-care with intention and awareness. This process can also be reversed and done in the evening. As you're doing your evening routine, you're cleansing off the day, you're removing your makeup, you're removing the sunscreen, you're exfoliating, you're doing an overnight treatment, or you're doing your serums, you're doing your mask, you're doing your body scrubs, you're putting on your body moisturizer, your body lotion, light a candle in the bathroom, put on some great music, whatever kind of music that is. 
that allows you to unwind and prepare for the evening, to prepare your mind for great sleep. Few essential oils or fragrances that you guys can use that help you. In the morning, citrus, lemon, orange, grapefruit, they wake you up. Peppermint can also be a bit of a wake up too. In the evenings, lavender, primrose, those are great for calming the body, calming the mind, and preparing you to go to sleep and get restful, good sleep. So that's what I wanted to come in and just point out with y'all today was to develop a morning routine. Mainly that's what I'm hitting on. I know I just briefly told you how you can do that in the evening, but I wanted to drive home a morning routine for you for when you first wake up. And this is a great time to do it with your skincare routine. This forces you to take a moment and take care of self. That's something I've really been trying to drive home to you all is that self-care is not a luxury. Self-care is not selfish. Self-care is a necessity because if you are not taking care of yourself, how can you possibly take care of anybody else? Husbands, boyfriends, children, parents, siblings, your job, any of that. If you do not take care of yourself, you cannot possibly take care of anybody or anything else. That includes pets too. So take the time, create a morning routine, i.e. skincare routine too. Self-care and mindfulness. Be present, be in the moment. Now, I want to give y'all a quick second just to see if y'all had any comments or questions. And actually, while y'all do that, let me check on my son. Can I help you? Life. You pay attention to life? Well, I'm going to need you to pay attention to that man. Okay? Okay. So I don't see any questions on Facebook. And I don't see any questions on Instagram at the moment. Y'all are coming back in and you are catching the replay. YouTube, this goes for you too. If you have questions, you have thoughts, you have suggestions, or you already have a morning routine, some things that you think would be great for our community, drop them in the comments. I would love to know some of the things that you guys already do or some things that you want to do. Drop them in. Drop those questions, those comments, those thoughts. I would love to come back and read them because I do read every single comment that you guys post. So, y'all have an amazing, amazing Wednesday, and I will talk with y'all later. Oh, no, that's not right. I'm not hanging up yet. Call to action. I got some info for y'all. Okay, so I was talking about the different scents, essential oils, and fragrances that can be in the products that help you wake up and they help you prepare for the evening. Well, um, J. Fisco, we're working on some new products that are going to be launching in the new year, and I'm crazy, crazy, crazy excited about it. And if you've been following me for a little while, I've been talking about it on and off a little bit. So those new products, they, I would love your feedback on them. And your feedback may just be the deciding factor on what the product looks like, smells like, feels like when it hits the shelf. I want to send you product absolutely free. I just ask for your feedback. Tell me how it feels to you. Tell me what it smells like to you. Tell me what are your first thoughts? What are your overall thoughts? I would love for you to join my product tester team so that you can provide some of that feedback. If you're interested in that, I'll drop that down in the comments. For those of you who are looking at me on Facebook and Instagram, click the link in my bio. It is there. Um, product tester team, come join me. Come join me. You guys are the first ones that learn about new products before they launch. And as my way of saying thank you, I usually also give y'all something else in addition to the products, but I'm not going to spill it to just everybody. You got to be on the product tester team to find out what that is. Hint, hint. Okay. Next thing, the Love Spa Party. It is coming up October 22nd, Sunday, starting at 10 a.m. I'm going to go into that really, really briefly because I feel like I haven't explained that in a while. Um, you guys are going to come into my facility. It's a beautiful space that I have leased for the weekend. Y'all come in on that su Sunday morning. You're going to check in. I'm going to give you a luxuriously soft spa robe and slippers. I ask you to take off your street clothes. You're going to get into these uh, soft spa robes and slippers, and you're going to get to mingle with my other guests. At about 1030-ish, we're going to do a tea tasting with Robin Boykin. She's going to come in and talk to us about teas, Best tea served hot, best tea served cold. She personally started her tea business because she was having some health challenges and she was able to heal her body with these different herbs. So she's going to talk to us about that very same thing, how certain teas can help us overcome certain concerns and issues. And all the different teas that she's going to talk about, we're going to get to taste in that moment. And while you're tasting tea, you absolutely need something to snack on. So I'm going to have these beautifully 
um, done up tea trays. So, you know, the three tiers, the top has got your sweet tin, the second has got your pastries, and the third tray has your savory sandwiches. So you're going to get to do this tea tasting with Robin Boykin and the other guests, and you're going to get to eat these delicious foods that I've had um, designed or cooked up for you guys. After the tea tasting, we're going to move into spa services. After the spa services, we're going to move into lunch. I am going to have a full service lunch for all of the guests. After lunch, we're going to have a guided meditation and stretch class. After the guided meditation and stretch class, we're going to go back into spa services. And throughout the day, there will be champagne. There will be great music. They're going to, this is going to be a time for my moms, my wives, and my ladies to just come in and really unwind. This is a great time to take care of self. I know a lot of times we have time constraints. Uh, where we find it difficult to take care of self, which is why I kind of did this uh, initial video talking about a morning routine, doing self-care and being mindful. I created this event. It's why it's called The Escape because I wanted to give ladies specifically a chance to escape their daily routine, their daily duties and come and refill their cup so that when they go home, they're refreshed and ready to hit the ground running because it's a new week. The party is on Sunday, October 22nd. So when you leave me at 4.30 in the afternoon on that Sunday, you are ready to go and crush your follow your upcoming week. But when I send you home, I'm not going to send you home empty-handed. I'm going to send you home with a specially curated gift beauty bag. And in it are some J-Fuels co-products and other products that I have carefully selected to help you take the spa party home with you. So during the upcoming weeks, when you say, oh, you know, I've had a long day. I really need to unwind. Some of those tips that I gave y'all today about self-care and mindfulness, you can go and pull something out and use it, whether it be a skincare product or something that helps set your atmosphere. I don't want to give too many details because I don't want to tell y'all exactly what's in the bag. Maybe after the spa party, I'll show you what all of the items that I put in the, in the gift bags. But my attendees, I guarantee you're going to love these bags. They are going to make a major difference. You come in and you're going to just really have a great time at the spa party, but you're going to leave the spa party and be able to take that feeling home with y'all. So I'm super excited about that. So again, that's October 22nd. Um, at last check, we had six tickets left. Ticket sales in this coming Sunday, October 15th at 1159. Why? Why are your sales ending early? Because I want to ensure that I have enough of everything for all of the guests that are going to be there. I want to make sure I have enough spa robes, enough slippers, enough food, enough champagne, and enough goodies for all of the gift bags. So I want to ensure I have time in case I need to order more supplies and things like that, that I have them in. There are no ticket sales at the door. So if you show up at my location the day of, I'm going to be so sorry for you because you're going to get to see the ladies from the windows and milling about outside on the property, having a great time and you won't be able to participate. So don't do that to yourself. Go to LuxSpaParty.com and grab your ticket today so we can ensure that you are going to have a fabulous time on October 22nd. Okay, so that's what I wanted to give y'all. Now, y'all have an amazing, amazing Wednesday. Bye.